Hello, my name is Tazen from Casa Geo, the data science and location intelligence company. In this video I will show you how to access files in Alteryx and QGIS at the same time. QGIS is a geographic information system and open source. It is perfect for our purposes because you can create thematic maps quickly and easily. This is interesting when you want to get a quick overview in a map during a project in which you work with several geographical features. I show step by step how this works. In the first step I start QGIS and save an empty QGIS project. I call it test. I open OpenStreetMap as a background map by dragging the icon into the map. In the second step I choose the file format. The best way to connect Alteryx to QGIS is via a PostgreSQL database. We will look at this in another video. Now we work with files. It is important that the file format can be read by both Alteryx and QGIS. Alteryx offers the following formats. The S3 shape format SHP, the map info formats tab and MIF, the geography markup language format GML, and the Google Earth and Maps format KML. To find out which format is most suitable for our question, I save the building block map of Hamburg in the four formats and then switch back to QGIS. Here I load the GML file first. We don't see the data for Hamburg. With the magnifying glass on the square we zoom in on the layers. We end up in the wrong region with the wrong scale. If I click on the question mark next to the layer, we see that the projection data is missing. So I enter them afterwards. Alteryx uses the projection WGS84 with the EPSG number 4326. Now the building blocks are displayed in the right place and at the right scale. Next I open the KML file, then the shape and finally the tab file. All three formats can be loaded without any problems. Generally, both the GML and KML formats take longer to load than the TAB and shape formats. Now I switch back to Alteryx and run the workflow again. Oops. When writing the shape file there is an error message. Alteryx cannot write to the shape file when it is open. So every time before we run the workflow we have to close the layers in QGIS. This is too impractical for me. So from my point of view both the GML and the shape format are unsuitable. My decision falls on the tab format. Because it loads faster and does not drop out with large amounts of data. As proof, here is a performance comparison between the two formats. If you save the building block map for the whole of Germany, approximately 2.7 million datasets, from all tricks in tab format, it takes 1 minute 25 seconds. For the KML format, on the other hand, Alteryx needs over 4 minutes. And with the amount of data, we reach the capacity limits with the KML format, as the file cannot be opened in QGIS. In the third and last step I want to test the link. For this I create a new workflow in Alteryx with the Map Input tool. I create two points in Hamburg. Hamburg Harbor and Ulster. Calculate a catchment area of 5 minutes each. I save the catchment areas as catchment areas. And the locations as locations. Run the workflow. I switch to QGIS and load the two files. Zoom in on the catchment areas. Classify and format them. I do the same with the locations. Our locations are both in the water. So I move them to land in Alteryx and run the workflow again. We briefly look at the results in the browse windows and then switch back to QGIS. I can zoom into the map or move it. Very nice, it works. If the map does not refresh, click on the refresh button here. And that's it for this time. If you liked the video, give us a like and if you are interested in the topics data science and location intelligence, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you for your time.